Hi everybody, thanks a lot for joining me. Today I wanted to tell you about a little makeup kit that I thought was just too good to pass up. It actually includes a few products that I'm pretty familiar with from Laura Geller's line. This is the Portofino Getaway Set, and I got mine from Ulta. It's $39, and as you can see, it has a very summery vibe to it, and I feel like the look that I put together, I really kind of kept it minimal with the color products that I added, and I kept it to this kit pretty much like for my eyes and for my cheeks I did add a blush but the overall color products are coming from this kit and I feel like it gives a really like simple easy glowy everyday look for any time of year really but ultimately these little pieces could be useful aspects to your makeup routine just pieced in with whatever you're already using getting the baked body frosting that's the all over body glow and Tahitian glow so you can use it face or body the baked French vanilla highlight, the color drenched lip gloss in the shade called Ginger, the Style Lash Lengthening Mascara, and then also an applicator, a double-ended applicator, which I know is usually sold like on QVC alongside the French Vanilla Highlight. I love that everything in here is full size. Um, one of the things that really perked my ears up was the Baked French Vanilla Highlight. This is a highlight that I can safely say is good for anyone. Those of you who have mature skin, those of you who are dealing with pores and acne and a lot of uneven texture and you feel like anytime you put a shimmery highlight on it just makes all of those things look like they're being spotlighted. This highlight is amazing and I already have one so this is going to be the one I'll be touching and putting my finger in. But this is just the perfect satiny finish highlight. See how it's just like kind of barely catching the light? This is the best way to show you what the finish is because when I just hold this up here it looks kind of flat and matte but it does have just the teeniest bit of sheen to it and one of my first ever uh, Beauty Broadcast Express reviews that I did was on this product, so I'll link to that because I'm sure I got very detailed in that video. I've been using this one very consistently for a couple years now. You can see, I, while I do have a pretty good dent in it, I have not yet hit pan, and this is the way it goes with Laura Geller products. They're kind of domed up, they're baked products, and it takes a while to use them up. Sometimes I will use baked French vanilla alone, and I love to use it up here in this zone because it's so, so, like, just brightening as far as your whole overall skin tone. Some highlights, they just add the shimmer. This really seems to take a whole chunk of your skin and really lift it up. Sometimes on its own, it can be a little hard to come by. I know QVC sells it for, I think, just under $30, and I don't always find it at Ulta. Then, I'm not sure if you guys know my history and experience with the Tahitian Glow, but this is kind of like a glowy bronzer type product, and I actually have this from back when it was sold, or maybe they're still selling it as the Baked Body Frosting. Same exact product on the inside. This is huge. And look, I actually hit pan on this. This is a massive amount of product, and it originally came with this little puff, and you can just like practically paint it on your body, and it's the most beautiful, like glowy bronze, not orangey in the least. I would put this all over, you know, like even after sunless tanning, and it would give a really nice glow to the skin. So I'm thrilled, actually, to have a smaller size of this that's a little more portable. You can just pick up this product on a makeup brush, and you just put it there on the shoulder, and it's just instant pretty glow. Love that. I would say this is a glowy product without being all out metallic. The best way to describe it is probably like highlight and bronze rolled into one. And with these baked products, you're always going to see like a little sector of the palette that's a little deeper than the rest. You know, like this part's a little lighter, this part's deeper. And so you can kind of target your brush a little bit if you want to, to hone in on the deeper shade, but that's entirely up to you. And if it bothers you that not every one of these is going to come out with the same identical look or that the whole palette isn't completely uniform. If that bothers you, this may not be the product for you. You're getting a Style Lash Intense Lengthening Mascara. I was really, really impressed with this actually, and this is the first Laura Geller mascara I've ever liked. I feel like so many of them have been a really, really wet formula. Too goopy, too thick, too heavy for my lashes. And with this, first off, the brush is reminding me so much of Lights Camera Lashes, you know, with the shorter, kind of spiky bristles 
bristles, a little bit tapered toward the tip, and then in application, I would say it's a little less thickening than Lights Camera Lashes, but more lengthening for me. So I really like the way, you know, two coats of this, I'd say, is my ideal. I really like the way that extended my lashes out. It feels kind of light on the lashes. Like I said, not too thickening. It's not super heavy, and that's why I think I'm seeing the curl lasting pretty well with this. I have not yet experimented with this on my lower lashes. You know, that's kind of a danger zone for me. I like to use my CoverGirl Plump Crush or Water Resistant down there, but on the upper lashes, I mean, this is fabulous. I really, really like just this natural kind of lengthened out look that I've got. And then the gloss is actually a shade that I had tried before it came in a holiday kit, I think two years back, but it's the shade Ginger from the Color Drenched Lip Gloss line. They smell kind of like frosting, I guess, like buttercream cake frosting, maybe. It's a doe foot applicator, but it kind of bends backward. It really gets nicely out to the edge with the product. And this shade I would describe as coral with a little bit of a golden sheen in it. It's not sticky. I know I've recommended her glosses when they've been sold in little sets. But I wanted to show you a quick little demo with these products. Um, I already had foundation on my skin and powder. My brows were done. And what else? I did a little bit of contour. And then I just used the Tahitian Glow. I went around the forehead. I feel like I can use this and not be too careful with it. You know, I'm not too concerned about getting overly glowy with this because like I said, it's not a metallic glow. It's kind of a soft glow with bronze mixed in. Then I used my baked French vanilla and I just went on top of the cheeks. Use this wherever you want to highlight. You can go down the nose with it. It's so multi-purpose. I feel like I can get pretty close to the eye area with this and not accentuate the look of fine lines or wrinkles in that area. So that's great. Then I use those products on the eyes as well. I applied a primer and then I used the baked French vanilla, just patted it all over the lids. It's really brightening. I also used it right under the brow and then, you guessed it, I just used the Tahitian Glow. Went into a little bit of the deeper part of this compact and just used that in the crease easiest look ever. And then you can also use that little pencil brush, smudge it down on the lower lash line. If you want your eyes to look extra awake and brightened, use a light pencil in the lower inner rim. Then I curled my lashes. I applied two coats of the Style Lash Mascara. You can see uh, my lashes, you know, not the greatest lashes on earth, but this definitely boosted them up, gave them a lift, gave them some added length. And then my last step for the look was just to apply the lip gloss, the Color Drenched Lip Gloss in Ginger. So so this is the overall finished look, very focused on these particular products, but again, they're all little individual pieces on their own. So you could use one, not the other, just integrate them into whatever your signature look might be. But I really like this kit and I just thought $39 was a great deal for all you get. So wanted to share. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.